Hi guys, this is Dignas Adventure and today we're going to, as per request, I'm going to do a yoga flow for beginners and I've got to prepare something for you for yoga modifications and using of uh, yoga props. So just have a, bow, a bit in about in here. So this is where I'm going to do my practice. So. Um, um, if you are still new, if you are still new with the poses or a yoga class like this, uh, I would recommend you to prepare something like a block because it's very useful for you. It's uh, gonna help you for every transition that you're going to have. If you don't have a block and you have, uh, and if you have a book or a towel, but you've got to see to see to it that the towel is a little bit thick because mine is a little bit cleaner because I've got the block so you can fold it until it becomes like that or a little bit more or if you've got a booster like that and I've got with me a strap and if you don't have a strap you can still use um, you can still use a belt but be very careful don't uh, use the elastic ones so keep it all simple keep it all safety so that's what I'm doing with my practice so yes let's keep going and I'm going to start doing the flow with you and I'm going to explain you how you're going to modify the pose and you're going to how are you going to use this kind of props that I've shown it to you and let's and go and today we're going to start with our seated flow so sit on your heels and i'm going to turn back so you can see the proper position of it feet together toes together nose together so you're going to find your seat bones on your heels and stay in here and relax or if you're a little bit uh, discomfort with your feet you can put the, always a towel underneath and then warming up our shoulders in here because we're using our up, upper body more often if you're doing a lot of poses so we have to warm up this kind of thing and then one thing is this cactus arm shoulder opening so you're going to squeeze your shoulder blades open your arms in here and we're going to grab our elbows together Grabbing your uh, elbows together, it helps you to open your chest, most especially if you've been working all day with your desk or with uh, tablets or with your laptop and you're arching your back so you have to um, find a way to exercise it every day so your back wouldn't be like arching. So you're going to, while you're in, in this position, you're going to also look side by side because that's what you're going to how you're going to release the pain from your neck and and now we're going to do our neck and uh, head releasing in here so um, it's normally chest to chin and we're going to put our chin to our chest and inhale and then again slowly back so you have to be very careful again and now we're going to do the rotation of your head but you're not going to do the full one you're going to do from left shoulder to the right shoulder from right shoulder to the left shoulder all the way to your chin and you're going to do that in both sides. We're not going to turn from head to chin to chin. No, we're going to put our chin on our chest and then try uh, to do a venture of rolling your head towards your right shoulder. And that's how you're going to do it, the other side. Now, that's what I called if you're not that if you're not comfortable sitting on it and you can put a towel under your thigh but if you're already been in there and then you are gonna be like it's okay for you so you can still remove it so here are the blocks yeah that's the block that you're going to use that we're going to use to stretch your body it's very beneficial to use this kind of thing so lift your arms up and try to bend sidewards but be sure to push your seat bones on your heels in here 
and open your arms again and your arm again into a cactus position and then you're going to open your shoulder and later on you're going to release your hands in here so you can feel the stretch from your side of legs in here yeah that's where you're going to find it but be sure to push your sit bones on on your heels in here look down and you can still do two three four something like that in here so you can still put the block down sleeping like that or a little bit more higher like that so grab the edge of the blocks because sometimes you are not conf confident doing it so so you have to connect with it and then inhale arm up and then release in there and then open into cactus that's and then slowly look up look down and slowly look up and stretch your hand in here that's why where you are going to get the stretch from your obliques again in here side obliques again in here and then always remember to push your sit bones into your heels so now you can still do this again for th in in and both sides you have to do it the same if you've done three at the other side you're going to do three at the other side as well so now we're going to do our placement of our hands in here the placement of our hands you should open your fingers actually in here fingers spread wide open so your wrist will sh over your shoulder your knees over your hips so as we're preparing for our cut in cow variation kind of so we have to make it sure that our uh, we have a strong upper body in here and then let's cut and count scope your tailbone down arch your back in here and slowly look forward and try to send your tailbone up and open your shoulders so you can still do this more often more and more as you wish because this is really going to help your back in here and it's going to help you open your chest in here and again we're going to do the cut in cow this, this is a cut, uh, cat actually that you're going to scoop your tailbone down arch your back in here and then again release it by pushing your tailbone up in the sky and opening your shoulder and look forward so let's keep doing this kind of uh, thing very good so keep going be very careful in the placement of your hands and be very careful with the placement of your knees in here as well uh, as i've said uh, wrist over your shoulder and knees over your hips and now we're going to do this kind of a little bit core exercise that helps you to um, give you balance and focus so it's a knee to elbow and you in every pose is actually if you're going to have counts of three four five or five four three two one you're going to do the same with the other side you're not going to do three four five and the other side and you're not you're going to do five four three two one and the other side it's gonna be it should be it should be the same so this is we're going to do a tiger pose uh, if you can't grab your ankle by your hands you're going to use a strap uh, that's what you're going to see in there and you're going to you can you can flip it up or you're just going to let it go like that and it's gonna help you actually uh, I've, I've not I've not um, given any any value of the strap before but when I start using my everyday practice when I've done in here and I've used them I've I've learned a lot and props really helps me to get going and to where I am now yes so don't hesitate to take any props that's going to help you because that's going to lead you to how safety you're going to perform a pose and how 
how you're going to do a simple thing and it's gonna help you in there it's gonna help you with uh, uh, it's it's gonna help you with not having injuries in there so just try just try and after a pose you can go into your child's pose a child's pose is you're going to uh, put your toes together and open your knees as wide as your mat and sink your chest and chin on the floor and you can stay here relax and get up again and do your other poses in here so we're going to do an open shoulder in here wherein we're going to open our hands in here and thread the needle in here and inside in here and ear in shoulder and the floor and then lift up your hands in here palms down up and you're going to do the same and put your put the hands on the floor a little bit in the middle and then open it wide and then thread in the needle and you can untuck your toes in here or you can you can just do it like that and come in here palms on the floor it will help you to take back into position and again let's do a child's pose in here so again toes together open knees together as wide as your mat and you can sink it into your mat and again we're going to go into your child's pose and this is what they call child's uh no uh it's a puppy pose wherein you're going to tr uh, you're trying to push your chest on the ground chest and chin on the ground and relax in here and then if you are finished uh, grab your elbows and then you can just stay like this and relax and hands alongside of your chest while getting ready into your other pose so tuck your tuck your elbows you can come into half cobra or a full cobra in here and relax in here and back again and again and tuck your toes come into your downward dog i've always uh, i've always i'm always fun to come into my downward dog just after the flow actually it's always nice to be in my downward dog after the flow so you can still end in there as in as doing this downward dog or you can still go for another thing so that's where you're going to stretch your hamstring in there so you can use the block also in there you don't have to aim to put your palms on the floor if you have blocks or books or chair like that you can still use it and again let's hug ourselves in here and come into your boat pose in here boat, po boat pose in here and slowly come down and we're going to relax in here and if you're going to finish it with your practice actually you can just lie down and relax and just loosen everything and be grateful for the energy that you put it in your practice so that's all for today i hope to see you again and i'm going to give you a series of this one and the next one would be like standing so you can do your poses you can do your practice while watching this and you can go and from seated to your standing one so thank you very much for your support for uh, being there and uh, sharing my practice with you is all what I love doing and it's all what I love to do in my life so namaste everyone and God bless, have a good day. And